what up guys today we're going to talk about progressive overload what is progressive overload and why it's important now let's begin progressive overload is in the simplest term it's over a long period of time you are increasing the load or the intensity so you make the workout harder over a long period of time and in turn you get stronger and stronger so you indefinitely increase the load when you get stronger you have to increase it more because the previous load was became easy because you became stronger that's the basics of progressive overload right now a lot of people say that for gaining muscle you don't need progressive overload you just have to contract the muscle with enough heavy weight and you're gonna build muscle so they are basically saying that progressive overload doesn't matter now my personal opinion is that you need some kind, at least some kind of progressive overload to see results. You no, know, it's basic logic, right? To progress, you need to progressively add or increase the intensity in any in any different way, right? There's a lot of different ways to do it. You could increase the number of sets you do. You could increase the number of reps you're doing. Um, you could increase the weight, which is the simplest form, right? Decrease the rest time so you make it more intense. You could do it in a lot of ways. But all of these are progressive overload. Because, you know, after a long period of time to progress and to get stronger, you have to do a heavier load. Let's say, for example, when you start lifting weights, right? And you do 50 pounds on the deadlift, for example that's heavy weight for you when you start but after lifting for some time 50 pounds is gonna be a warm-up to you but if you continuously use those 50 pounds I think you're not gonna progress and build muscle on that no matter how much you contract the muscle I just think you need progressive overload in my opinion now there's a great story on progressive overload now I don't know if this story is true but you hear it a lot it's a very popular story around progressive overload now there was this guy in ancient Rome right and he had this little calf so he had a baby a baby bull right and he carried this baby bull every single day on his back up a hill and the moral of the story is that after time the bull grew and grew so it, it weighed more and more and he in turn got stronger and stronger until he was at the end carrying a full adult bull on his back, right? So the moral of the story is he constantly increased the weight over a long period of time and in turn he got stronger. Progressive overload. Now, I know that you can't indefinitely always increase the weight, right? 
because then all of us would, would be deadlifting cars and you know that's not happening right then you could lift 2,000 pounds right if you could constantly increase the weight but over a long period of time I'm not talking weeks I'm not even talking months I'm talking years right now if you're a beginner you're gonna increase your weight a lot faster but once you get to an advanced level it's gonna become a lot slower and it's gonna go from taking months to taking years right then it's gonna go to taking decades but you're gonna get stronger over time if you increase the load and I really think that strength is not directly correlated with muscle growth but it is a connection there right like if you can bench press 300 pounds right there's a good chance that you have a big chest if you can deadlift four or five hundred pounds there's a pretty good chance you have a wide large back and tree trunk legs you know it's almost impossible to not be big when you're really strong and that comes down to diet right you see a lot of strength competitors right they have to be in a certain weight class so they don't eat in a calorie surplus that's why they don't gain weight but they are constantly getting stronger that's why they say strength is not directly co correlated with muscle growth but you just have to be in a calorie surplus then you're gonna get stronger and bigger so I firmly believe and recommend everyone should use some kind of progressive overload if their goal is to be be big and build muscle that's it guys thanks for watching I hope this video really helped you out don't forget to like the video leave a comment definitely subscribe helps me out a lot and see you tomorrow